Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. So uh, today I'm going to actually assemble the tool head onto the gantry. Uh, my previous video I talked about all the parts that go into the tool head. I uh, don't think I missed any, but if so, I'm sure someone will let me know. Um, I'm going to be using some uh, Vibratite. Um, this is the 125. I'm going to be using the VC3 Vibratite, if I don't drop it on the floor. Um, to secure the bolts or screws uh, into the metal parts so that we get a good solid connection. Um, so there's going to be a bit of that going on. I'm just going to move the frame out of the way while I get stuff done here. And we're going to get started on the assembly in the time lapse mode now. All right, that's it for the tool head assembly. Now I'm going to uh, remove the camera from its mount here. One second. I apologize for the jitteriness of the camera. And let's take a closer look at this tool head all assembled. So there you have it, the Sherpa Micro Extruder feeding into the Dragon hot end. Uh, interesting thing about the way this tool head is laid out, the um, hot end um, 
sock is easily accessible in case you need to swap out and pull the sock off in order to swap out the nozzle so that's a good thing um, unusual feature this is this is the front of the printer so um, what you see from the front is fan um, which is maybe a bit strange um, the side view is where you get access to the nozzle um, and the cooling fan is on the other side. So interesting layout. Um, still have some wires to hook up and things like that. But basically, that is the tool head that will move back and forth on the gantry. And so far, that's looking pretty good. Um, so I'll proceed with the next step of the build in the next video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them below. Thanks for watching.